I didn't try a herd genetics. Linda is an extremely very good herd. He's within top 5% of the herds in the country in terms of EBI 157 on the last run. Uh, there's a good balance there between milk and fertility, as you can see. And if you look at she's actual EBI report there, just draw your attention there to the young stock there. What's coming up behind them as well is very extremely good balance there. There's 222 on the 2019 card, I think 187. The page the 4. And you notice, and you notice there that there are very good balance between milk and EBI. So look, that's what we want. We don't want extremes. We need our milk and fertility uh, and a very good balance. So, just before it again, they're in the also in Pharma, he's uh, genotyping heifers. He's done that. And he also is genotyping some of the best of the male cows here. So, he's very much in top of the top of the So, look, so we, we, your EBI report will tell us where where we're at in terms of our mix of indexes of all VBIs and also tell us where we need to try and improve. We also look at other reports that are available there to help us look at the crop performance report at the end of the year. Very important report to look at. And there's also a milk recording here, so he's a wealth of information. Before he goes to select any bull for a breeding season, he's also a milk recording which also can be a very useful tool for that purpose as well. Um, I suppose I just maybe at this point now I might just ask in there and maybe Martina to comment on maybe their breeding goals for this season. <coughs> I might just add a little bit on to them if you want to comment on that there in there, sorry. Yeah, I should look at we'll be hoping to maintain um milk output plus increase your protein or your your your, your solids. Um, we're roughly at four eighty there for the year. We'll be hoping targeting five hundred there down the line without changing too much with grass and, and a ton of meal, ton of meal target. I suppose I fed maybe 1.2 ton last year, but who didn't feed extra, you know what I mean? Just supply and demand. Um, to look at, we'd be, everything we'd be hoping to be plus 0.15 in, in protein, you know, nothing less. And say, hold the fertility at, at where it is and improve it if you can, if you know what I mean. But we always had a good balance between milk and fertility, which has stood to us. Well, again, look. Once we're in her plus, it's what tie all this in together. The her plus, the the sire voice will match the bulls to the to the cows for us. It will avoid inbreeding. It will try and keep the balance right between milk and fertility. It will try and minimise the extremes. There won't be an extreme between a cow rapidly ahead and milk, the poor fertility, and vice versa. And we know the difference in the females. So. Keep in mind, we had a major upgrade in sour vice last year. We have tried to make the job of the female section easier. You know, you can maybe put the BKI, the lay calvers, or the yeah, maybe the females with your below her DBI averages. We try to make the job easier. You can map the culling at the female selection stage. The sour vice also ties in, you know, picking the bulls easier. Some must do one company, some must do multiple companies. There are sliders to get down to those hard objectives. You know, we might have a line in our in our minds for uh, overall EBI, about 270 is probably the recommendation. Overall, the bull team are talking about now. Uh, the mix of index of 50 euros. We're talking about fertility in the region of 100, 110. So, but then we can focus in on the traits we want to provide. Maybe it's protein, maybe it's kilos. I spoke myself and Martina in this way, we spoke at the very beginning there that actually believe, believe 42 kilos is, is positive figure there for in this herd, but actually nationally speaking 60% of the herds are actually minus, but they are still delivering the milk, so don't be all, maybe overly concerned of selecting bulls that are plus 200 milk kilos, you know, they are delivering, if you can focus on solids and fertility, they will do the business for us. Again. Just uh, some of us here are probably had the technician service, so look, I encourage anybody that hasn't ran the sour voice to do so. There's plenty of times you selections are sent to your handheld, to your AI technician's handheld, so you'll always know what, what the top three choices are. It's one of the great benefits of the system. And again, those of us in the DIY, the selections are sent to your breeding chart, and look, we can we'll still send you a breeding chart if it's so required. And look, we are trying to, try and get more people to run the sour advice. Some advisors run it for their farmers, uh, your sales rep, your, or your, uh, your AI company representatives run it. So look, we'll say it's, it's a massive tool, it's one the best tool that's available to all the Herpus members here today, and it's still time to run it. And again, I just want to finish maybe on the Sintra piece here. It's all well and good maybe to run this our advice and pick your five or seven or eight bulls. 
But you know, if we don't follow the, the prescription, will we get the will we get the cure? So the, we looked at this last year, and we probably looked at a couple of thousand herds, and we had the fertility data on, and we had the crop of farm start on. I suppose we noticed that farmers were were running the side rice, but maybe maybe up to up to of the tragedy for say the first like eight heifers were coming coming in off three bulls, which is a very very heavy, very heavy, very dangerous, very risky. If there's an evaluation change, considering the, the drops, ups and downs that you may have, that's why you need to dilute the risk more. And again, to use them evenly. So look, if you do run the side rice, to follow it closely as close as you possibly can. To, eat, to use it evenly, it is such a, such an, it's nearly as important as the number of bulls you pick to use it evenly, to, draw, to dilute the risk or manage the risk of the breeding season.